are we having too many games? Because we are starting to see players complaining a lot, yeah. a lot more. Are we having too many games now? I think it's, it's a discussion that needs to be had. I think it's too many games. If you, if you play in the top team and for your country, um, and most of the top teams, if you take Man City, for instance, Man City play the same core literally every game. Um, and if you take a player like Rodri, who unfortunately knew he got a cruciate ligament injury, so he's out for a year. But if you take a player like him, um, he comes back from the, the European Championship, been in the final, he's come straight back. You know, it's relentless. You just start the Premier League season. Yes, he's been eased in. Then the Champions League starts, and he's got to play every game there because he's the most important player, you know, for, for Man City. Played 61 games for Man City last season. He lost one. That was the last game of the season. Lost one game. This guy wins games, so you want to play him. But if you look at this season, you look ahead to the FIFA World Club com uh, competition. We worked out the other day that if he plays as much as he played last season, so literally every time, he could end up playing 85 games. 85 games is too much. It is. Football is not like any other sport. It's not... It's not like people say, yeah, but in the Tour de France they do this. Yeah, but what they do is they sit in the same position and they do the same movement. Football is this way, that way, in and out, quick. So the, the, the wear on your body is, in, it, you know, it, the, the, co the recovery of that is long. It's two, three days. And if you don't get there, you just bring an unrecovered body into the next game and it just takes something off every time. So yes, I think there are too many games. So for the players, I think they need to have a look at periods when football are not allowed to be played, a guarantee of a certain amount of days rest. But I also think it's too much for, 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 for football fans, for viewers. You know, if you, want, if, you, if you follow football, you love to watch football on TV, you can watch a game of football, even two games every day. That's your whole life watching football. It's too much. And I think... By the end of it, it takes the edge of the excitement of football. It just becomes, I don't know if there are any people here from America or anybody ever traveled to America, but if you go into a bar in America, there's always sports on, and there's always baseball on. They play all the time. And baseball, you know, some people go and watch the games, yes, but in bars and stuff, it just becomes part of the, the furniture. It's there, and you watch it, oh, yeah, that was good, but you're not really into it. And I, I can be fearful that football will end up like that. I want football to be exciting. I want it to be interesting. Um, so, yeah, I think we play too many games.